Image Search is an exciting property. It's one of our fastest growing properties at Google. And not only is, is the property itself popular, but the world of imagery and online photography is absolutely exploding. Um, we have seen just tremendous growth, even in the last two to three years, and proliferation of images online. Um, in fact, we're seeing now a growth rate upwards on the order of 100 billion images um, being captured and made available online every year. And if you think about that, um, and you think about a couple other interesting data points, such as um, uh, one data point that there are over 750 million um, camera phone equipped mobile phones that are sold every year, um, and over 100 million digital cameras that are sold every year, you see this, this is an ecosystem that's, that's feeding itself, and these numbers continue to accelerate. Um, we envision, um, in the not too distant future, uh, a corpus of over a trillion images online. Um, and with social, networking's prolif social networks proliferating uh, all over the place and the sharing of images really becoming um, commonplace, um, this is a huge growth opportunity. So um, for Google, we see a big opportunity to organize the world's images. And frankly, because there are so many of them, it's a big challenge and we think this could be a really big value to our users um, in the future. So in order to really get our arms around this, we have to think of new and innovative ways um, of capturing and organizing these images. Today, as you know, we, as we crawl um, the web in search of all of the world's images, um, we find them and we index them through a variety of different techniques. And part of that has to do with um, the text that we find in, that accompanies an image on a particular website. Um, but as you can imagine, not always um, does that text accompanying the image describe it perfectly. So um, we have to use other techniques um, to improve the accuracy and, and improve the quality of really deciphering what that image is about. And the frontier that's most interesting and exciting to us in that arena is image processing, computer vision, and visual search, as we say. And that is actually understanding something about the pixels in the picture and being able to make um, closer approximations and estimations of actually what's in the picture um, to help us provide a better search experience when people are looking for something very specific. So this is an area that we're really excited about and we're centering on. Um, and some of the examples that we've talked about include things like facial recognition, being able to label a picture with you and all of your friends, and then use that as your, your training picture to then tell the image search engine to go and find all of the pictures that um, have yourself and your certain friends that you've labeled so that it can automatically um, group your pictures according to who's in them. This is a hugely powerful feature when you think again about just the, the sheer volume of images and photos that people are uploading and sharing, to be able to actually identify who's in them makes it really easy to sort and find and, and uh, share images. Additionally, the same type of technology, it's a much bigger challenge, um, but we also want to be able to do scene analysis. That is, to be able to identify different objects in the picture beyond just the people and just the faces. Um, to understand what a chair is or a, uh, um, to understand what the Eiffel Tower is um, would be very powerful. You could imagine a cataloging system based on this kind of technology um, that could be pretty compelling. And again, it's something that we feel is very necessary as this corpus of images continues to get larger and larger, um, finding you know, useful images um, in, in this sea of, of growing photos is be becoming increasingly important. Many of these 750 million camera phones out there are also equipped with GPS. And um, the data that accompanies any photo that's being captured now includes the date, the time, the geo-coordinates of where you were standing when you took that picture. Um, we have a product called Panoramio, um, which is a pretty exciting geotagging uh, photo management system that allows you to upload your photos and organize them according to um, where those photos were taken. And you can also then envision um, a very interesting browse capability where instead of actually looking for a specific image or looking for certain attributes, um, you can actually just go to the place anywhere in the world and look for photos in that city, in that region, in that neighborhood um, with pretty fine-grained specificity as you know, geocoding gets you down within 
three feet of accuracy, um, this becomes a pretty interesting way to browse pictures.